No, go ahead. Here's John Weingartz again, and, and uh, we're at the house top, uh, the place where the website Women Priest uh, functions, and, and John is uh, talking to us about his latest book. Right. Well, our book, <coughs> this particular book called Amrusa, that's an Indian name for a woman, the subtitle is What the Pope's Man Found Out About the Law of Nature. It is a novel, so it's, a, it's another way of presenting uh, the material. The theme of the book is really about the fact that the law of nature, or natural law, is still used by Vatican officials to uh, lay down a lot of prohibitions and restrictions on sexuality which are totally out of date. As you know, ever since Humani Vitae, we have this question about a total ban on any use of contraceptives, mm -hmm. and even forbidding condoms to uh, women who are potentially uh, the victim you know, of uh, their husbands who are in infected by AIDS. Yes. Um, now, why does the church forbid this totally because they imagine that these things have been laid down in the law of nature and they say what uh, God has laid down in the law of nature you may never tamper with that that's the argument now they overlook the fact that already Thomas Aquinas pointed out that because we are human beings our law of nature is the use responsible use of our intelligence Pigs can't fly, we say in English, and it is true, pigs can't fly. But we too, if you look at our nature, you'd say we can't fly. But in actual fact, we do fly. We've made artificial wings. We cross whole oceans from one continent to the other. And that's because we are human beings. Now, the same applies to the area of sexuality. Uh, the use of contraceptives, of course, has to be done responsibly. Anyway, this story is an exciting, dramatic story about a naive Monsignor from the Vatican who imagines it is his job to determine once for all the nature of women. And so he <laughs> travels to India, <laughs> he comes in contact with real women, uh -huh. and that is a tremendous discovery for him, and especially this woman, Amrutha. Now, uh -huh. Amrutha is a Hindi uh, Sanskrit word, and it means immortal. And that responds very well to her character because she's very energetic, she's a Hindu woman, but she's able to overcome all kind of obstacles mm -hmm. uh, simply because she is uh, clever, resourceful, uh, and she knows, you know, to find different kind of solutions in different contexts. Now we see also the situation of women in Islam, and we find in all major religions, you know, women are at a disadvantage mainly because of cultural prejudices. Anyway, this Monsign Monsignor falls in love with her, mm -hmm. and then he uh, has a whole range of other quite dramatic uh, adventures that he has to go through, in the course of which he slowly starts discovering that he has to give up you know, some of these naive convictions that he mm -hmm. had. So I recommend this book very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you go uh, there is a website actually called thepopesman.com, thepopesman.com. Okay. Uh, there you can find out how to order this book more uh, cheaply than if you go through Amazon. It's available everywhere now, mm -hmm. but I recommend therefore that you, you go to thepopesman.com. Okay. And it talks a lot about women and how this so-called law of nature has also helped to cloud the conception that church authorities have about women. Now, I'm very glad to give this copy to Dorothy Irving, my friend <laughs> and fellow researcher. <laughs> it's an unusual book, Dorothy, because it's a novel. <laughs> but I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you, John. I know I will. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure you'll have a chuckle or two <laughs> as you'll read it. Yeah. Okay. Cut it off.